Hello there. This is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You are in the middle of a series with me where we are taking 12 sacred voices from the East and the West, and we are revealing um, just kind of the inner depths of what it means to receive love from God through the poetry that was transmitted through them and inspired by God. In the series, we have studied Rabia and St. Francis of Assisi and Rumi. And now we are studying Meister Eckhart. So here is some of the poetry that he has offered to the world. The first one is called, He Told a Joke. My Lord told a joke, and seeing him laugh has done more for me than any scripture I will ever read. The second one is called, Always Kissing. They are always kissing. They can't control themselves. It is not possible that any creature can have greater instincts and perceptions than the mature human mind. God ripen me. So I see it is true. All objects in existence are wildly in love. Intimate. Knowledge always deceives. It always limits the truth. Every concept and image does. From cage to cage, the caravan moves. But I give thanks. For at each divine juncture, my wings expand and I touch him more intimately. You have never been lost. I wanted to put something on this page that might make your heart see as mine. For the truth lives in me now. Its ways I know. When God flowed into himself, he made the mill happy. These words, light ground, Hold them. Every world sent out its scouts looking for a merchant who can say, You have never been lost, dear. It is God who became confused. When he returns home, the mill will sing. Existence leans its mouth toward me because my love cares for it. So fragile as we grow. Someday you will hear all things applaud your wonder. Life claps in awe of the divine's performance. When your veil is removed, you, dear, you, everyone, will see that your being is holy. Raising their children is the primary care and purpose of some. This is a blessed state. For an oasis of love is found in the desert. The heart only reflects the sky when it is giving and compassionate. Who would want to stand before a mirror that is shattered and thus distorts our beauty? That is so fragile as we grow. An oasis for all life the soul becomes when it is unveiled. This last one is called, How Long Could It Flirt? How long can the moth flirt near the mouth of the flame before their lips touch and the moth's soul becomes like a sun? And does the moth then die? No, 
In serving God, one is transformed into Him. What lovers will return to us? What lovers would not unite beyond belief and annihilate their separations forever if they had the power to do so? The power, that power our Lord has. How long do you think you can just flirt with him before you dissolve in ecstasy? Existence spins on, its po- on his potter's wheel. All is being shaped into the divine. What lovers would not want to die embraced? Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to share this with someone you think would be encouraged by it. And if you like this type of material, make sure to like and share and subscribe in whatever podcast venue that you choose to listen through.